What's up, everybody? It's your boy Trayvon here with Sent Talk TV, and today we're going to be going over two first impressions on two fragrances that I got from Marshalls and my local Ross. Now, the ones that I got, well, the one that I got from my local Ross, man, wasn't expecting to find it, but I found it, thankfully. So let's just jump into it. Starting off with Montal Paris Vanille Absolute. Got this fragrance for the reduced price of $48 and some change. Well, $49 and some change. Oh, wow. Well, this is my first Montal fragrance, so I did not know that it came in a nice bag like this. And here is the bottle. Like a chrome platinum bottle. And uh, for a 3.4 ounce bottle, this looks pretty small to me. Nice atomizer. Mm. This is like the pinnacle of gourmadiness. Like, it's just a very, very smooth vanilla gourmadi type of a fragrance that put me, put, that puts my mindset in like in a realm of, you know, like cookie dough or chocolate chip cookies, you know. It smells very, very edible and, it, and it's making me hungry actually because this is very, very nice. Sweet, smooth, not harsh, not in your face. It's just mellow. This is pretty nice in the opening so far. This can be unisex, but it leans, leans a little bit more feminine because it has some type of note in here that is like giving off like a little bit of a feminine vibe. The vanilla is mixing well with some type of sweetness that makes it a little bit more feminine, but it does has like a you know unisex aspect to it to a point where a man can pull this off but thus far i'm liking this so far performance unknown projection longevity and all that stuff unknown initially by the scent this smells really nice i'm starting to pick up some type of a chocolate type of a note that's inside of here vanilla and chocolate mixed in very well with each other if it is chocolate in here i'm just going off the of initial but yeah, I dig this. I dig this. It's not loud. It's not overbearing. It's not cloying. It's not, you know, what, choke you out or anything like that. Maybe if you uh, go heavy on the sprays. But so far, this is amazing. I'm going to get this bad boy some wearing. You know, I'm going to see what it uh, amounts up to as a full day of wearing. So, yeah, this is to be discovered as a... Uh, as a, in the full review to be discovered like how it is full out so up next the fragrance that i got from marshall's is from the house of davidoff this is davidoff the game there you go this is a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle 100 milliliters of possible greatness and it's also a edt concentration this cost me 25 dollars and some change and here is the bottle wow this looks like a stack of poker chips. Got the name of the house right here. It's a weird looking bottle. Though I do dig it. Let's just jump into how it smells. Atomizer is not good and it's not bad either. Ooh, yes. Wow. This fragrance, Woody, has a fresh spice, has some fruitiness into it as well has like some type of a um you know like a subtle subtle smooth lipsticky floral aspect to it but overall so far as it's drying down it's like a fruity masculine fresh floral scent this kind of reminds me of amory's from uh if i pronounced that uh, correctly from uh, mfk because this is not what i expected i thought it was gonna be a flop but this is pretty nice. It's not bad. Now the floral type of uh, aspect that I get out of this is not feminine, it's more masculine. Like deep, fruity, has like some woods in the background, definitely. Um, judging by uh, first impression, that's, that's what I get. Fruity, floral, masculine, fruity, floral aspect to this fragrance with some woods that really think, I think the woods that's in here is what makes it a little bit more masculine. Uh, 
behind that floralness that I get out of this. But yeah, this is nice for $25. It's not bad. You know, not a heavy projector so far, at least. Not a heavy, a heavy uh, projector. You know, longevity is to be discovered. But judging our first uh, impressions of this fragrance, man, woof. I think I'll be keeping this one. You know, I think this would be like good for the office or, you know, maybe a date night, you know, somewhere casual. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to overspray with this one in order to get like a monstrous or oh, a little bit over of a moderate type of projection out of this one, I would think. I'm just assuming. But this is a great pickup for the price, judging how it smells. Don't know the performance, but this is great, man. It smells wonderful. It kind of also gives me like a white booziness from, uh, from this, like a white boozy, fruity yet floral aspect when it comes to this fragrance. Not bad. This is awesome. I like this. Now, coming back to this, it dried down and it just smells like cookies. It smells like a fresh oven baked cookies, like fresh out of the oven. This is annoying. This is great. This is absolutely great for the reduced price of $50, roughly. This is amazing. I'm gonna give this bad boy a full well, wearing and possibly do a full review on this one because this is nice, man. Fresh chocolate chip cookies, like cookie dough, like smooth, like, ooh, man. Wow. If you wanna smell like cookies, this is it right here. Really, really good solid pickups both of these for the price solid 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 pickups this is great it smells wonderful this one even more wonderful this is why i do the, what i do rack store hunting you never find out you never know what you might find just gotta keep on hunting i am definitely pleased with this bad boy and this bad boy i'm keeping these i'm keeping these so, that's all that I got for Scent Talk TV, ladies and gentlemen. As always, you know what to do. You got to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And then hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be safe out there and be blessed and have a good one. I'm out of here. Peace. Ooh.